Hi, everyone. My name is Christopher, project manager at Tuya Smart Overseas. Thank you so much for having me here today. In the following time, I'm going to introduce the background and existing capabilities of Tuya IoT App SDK, introduce the overall design and integration process of the development program by Smart Life App SDK, and how to use the IoT app to connect and control the smart devices. I believe that everyone is a developer or practitioner in IoT industry. Smart hardware needs to be combined with app to better play its role and make people's life more convenient. For example, use the app to control the brightness of the lights, adjust the temperature of the air conditioner, remotely monitor your home through IP camera, and so on. Even to complete a linkage control between electrical appliances in your home, like turn on the air conditioner and air purifier when the PM 2.5 and temperature reach a certain value. These things that only existed in imagination can now be realized through mobile phone apps plus smart hardware. First of all, let's look at the difficulties of developing an IoT device from scratch. First, there are many types of devices on the market, and each device has its communication protocol and method, which requires higher app capabilities. Second, developing IoT devices involves the development of hardware devices and communication protocols. So there are high requirements for the skills of developers. These reasons lead to long development cycles, high costs, and difficulty debugging of IoT products. So, what are the advantages of the App SDK based on the Tuya IoT platform? For one thing, through the Tuya App SDK, you can control all the devices powered by Tuya. Developers only need to write UI code without considering device capability issues, which significantly saves development cost. For the other, Tuya App SDK supports almost all communication protocols such as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Zigbee, etc. In addition, Tuya App SDK provides a wealth of external capabilities. Developers can configure various functions and scenarios according to their needs. And what is the usage scenario of Tuya IoT App SDK? Tuya App SDK is more suitable for customers who have basic development capabilities or those who think Tuya smart official app and OEM service cannot meet their needs. So this app in the picture is a smart product independently developed by using Tuya App SDK. Take Smart Life App SDK as an example. We can see that the SDK fully covers multiple functional modules such as users, devices, and smart scenarios, and provides rich API interfaces such as account systems, home systems, device parent control, smart scenarios, and automation. These mobile apps simplify the connections to and control of smart devices and trigger smart things. Tia also provides extension SDK, namely the vertical category of SDK such as IPC SDK, Smart Door Lock SDK, and Swapper SDK, which relies on the Smart Life App SDK. They may encapsulate the unique functions of the vertical category to facilitate the rapid development of the functions of the vertical category products. What's more, Tuya provides a development-free UI-based bundle SDK based on the Smart Home SDK, which can quickly access the Tuya business module through simple calls. For specific effects, please refer to Tuya Smart App. Next, 
I will take the Smart Life App SDK as an example to show you how to create your own app project on the Tui IoT platform. Firstly, register and log into the Tui IoT platform. Click App, select App SDK, and click Create App. You can choose the corresponding app SDK according to your business background. Here we choose the Smart Life app SDK. Click OK. Fill in app related information and click Confirm. Please note the iOS app package name. Fill in your iOS app package name. The recommended format is like com.abcd.efg. Android app package name. Fill in the package name of your Android app. iOS and the Android name can be consistent or inconsistent. Channel identifier. It is not required. If it is not filled in, the system will automatically generate it according to the package name. In addition to the required Smart Life SDK, there are many option SDKs. Among them, the SDK of the vertical category is that Tuya encapsulate the unique functions of vertical products, such as smart cameras, smart door locks, and swipers and rapidly developers products and functions. If you need to dock related products, you need to check the corresponding SDK. In addition, Tuya provides a kind of development free UI business package based on the Smart Life App SDK, which can achieve complete functions through simple calls. For specific UI effects, please refer to the official Tuya Smart App. Click Get Password to get SDK, App Key, App Secret, Security Picture and other information. Please note that the Android project needs to configure the SHA-256 key locally and configure it on IoT platform. So let me show you how to apply for a SHA-256 key in Android local project. Firstly, open the local project and click Build. Generate APK. Please note that you have to select APK option here, and then you can see a configuration page. We need to create a new key store file. Click Create New. First, select the location where the file is stored. You can store it in a project to prevent the file from being lost. So here I will generate it on the desktop for the convenience of the demonstration. Then enter the password. Note that the password below can be different from the one above, but it is recommended to set it to the same for your convenience. In addition, at least one item must be filled in at the bottom of these items. Here I enter the content test in the first one. After clicking confirm, you can see the key story file on the desktop. Open the command line tool and enter the following code. Then drag the file into it and click enter to see what the secret key has been generated. We copy the secret key and fill it in IoT platform.
then we need to integrate the SDK into the local project. Taking iOS as an example, we recommend using Quark Compose to quickly integrate the SDK. Please note, the SDK needs system version 9.0 and above. Add the following content to the port file file. After the integration, we need to initialize the SDK in the project. First, modify the bundle identifier to the iOS package name corresponding to the Tuya developer platform. Import the security picture to the project root directory and rename it to t-s.bmp. Initialize the SDK in app delegate application data finish launching with options method. Please note that the app key and the secret here needs to be set to the ones you applied for. Tuya also provides a complete document system. If you don't remember, we also provide a complete access process document. You can go to the document center to view it as needed. Smart Life App SDK provides rich API interfaces such as account system, family system, equipment pairing and control, smart scene, and automation. Through them, we can quickly realize the connection and control of mobile apps to smart devices. As well as rich smart scene applications, we also provide demos for iOS and Android. You can go to GitHub to download and replace the app key, app secret, secure picture and other information with your own application to experience the fun of controlling the device in app. In this demo, basic functions such as user login and the registration, family creation, equipment network pairing, and control have been implemented. Next, I will show you how to control smart devices through demo. First of all, in the sample, we need to register and log into the account. You can fill in account code 86 when registering. According to other circumstances, you can register after obtaining the verification code through your mobile phone number or email address. Then we log into the application with the account we just registered. Please note that after logging in, we need to create a family first to bind the device to the family. Click Create a Family. In this sample, the family name and location can be set at well. After successfully adding, we select the easy mode in the Wi-Fi mode to configure the network. Here we need to make sure that the mobile phone is connected to the Wi-Fi and fill in the Wi-Fi name and password on the page. Please note that only 2.4G Wi-Fi is available and 5G frequency band is not available. In addition, make sure that the device is in the mode to be matched. Wait for the link after clicking Add. You can see that it has been added successfully at this time. We return to the home page and click on the device list to see that this light bulb is already under the created family. Click to enter the control page. We can control the device on the page, such as turn and off, adjusting brightness or color temperature, and so on. If you want to avoid the trouble of UI development, you can also use the UI business package mentioned above. Next, I will use the Tuya Smart App to show you the device pairing UI business package and device control UI business package. Similarly, after logging into the app, we need to make sure that the family has been created. Then, click the plus button in the upper right corner and select the light source 
Wi-Fi type in lighting device. The following are the interfaces of device pairing UI business package and device control service package. Enter the Wi-Fi name and password and click next to confirm that the device is in the waiting mode. Next, wait for the link. After the connection is successful, enter the control panel of the device. We can also control the brightness, color temperature, RGB, and some other features of the device. In the daily development process, developers and users often give us feedback, hoping to realize some effects in Tuya Smart App through App SDK, or open a functional interface in the Tuya Smart App in SDK. In fact, although Tuya Smart is also developed based on the Smart Life App SDK, but our R&D engineers have also done a lot of UI and logic optimization and functional expansion on this. Due to security compliance and other reasons, we are unable to open all functions to the outside world. But we still welcome you to provide your own ideas, which is our motivation for continuous interactive optimization. If you still cannot meet your needs by using the UI business package, you can also use OEM services. You only need to configure the corresponding information on the platform. And you can get an app that is the same as 2 Smart within 2 hours.